Hi everybody, this is Latia for you. Um, I was just coming back with a hair update. Um, it has been three whole weeks since I big chopped and um, next week I think we'll make a whole month. Um, it was done on June the 19th. So um, this is my hair. This is pretty much how it looks every day so far. Um, I haven't been doing anything super special to it. Um, I just kind of let it do what it wants to do. Um, I just been, I made a, um, a conditioner, um, mixed up a lot of good stuff and put it together. And I've also been using shea butter, but that's about it. So, um, the pictures that were taken at the end of the Big Chop video were actually done on the beach in Pensacola um, with my family. We had like a little cookout. Um, let me see what else I want to say. Um, oh yeah, I'm, I'm about to probably order the Kim at Biologics when I get to um, Virginia, well Maryland. Um, as you can see, I've not even started packing up, so I have a lot of work to do, and I really need to be getting on that. Um, that's about it, pretty much. Oh yeah, I've been doing a whole lot of swimming. Like, right now it's raining outside, but, like, I've been swimming so much. That's pretty much all I do. And I've been using the, um, I saw a, a YouTube video about shea butter and it, and I read that it does protect a little bit against the chlorine. So I, I'll pretty much base my hair in, um, the shea butter. And, um, then when I go outside and go swimming, it's not as harsh. And then I do a deep condition like once a week or so. Either way, I haven't noticed any change in my hair. It hasn't harmed or hurt my hair. I wash my hair very thoroughly once I get home. Um, but that's about it. And I went and bought the Suave Coconut, um, the really cheap conditioner, as my first conditioner. And then I co-washed with the more expensive conditioner, like everyone was saying. And that was really really helped it's really been great i really like that stuff the cheap stuff it's really good um it doesn't have the sodium lauryl sulfate in it and um it's pretty cheap so that's about it and if anyone has any advice on maintenance of the the little teeny weeny afro i i take any advice um and this is pretty much it this is how it looks and I didn't get an edge up when I um be feed I just pretty much let it grow just the way it is I was combing it a lot in the beginning but I noticed that when I comb it it doesn't act right so I only comb it now before I'm about to deep condition it and I comb that through and it gets you know pretty big I'm letting the shrinkage work with me right about now because the shrinkage is really helping because of um I don't want to get it cut again but it looks neater when it has a lot of good shrinkage like right now it's, it's kind of a acting okay um I've been <laughs> rocking a lot of styles you'd be surprised how many styles you can pull out of this <laughs> I've been um like if I take a little gel and put it on the sides and I can like make little finger waves it's kind of funny I thought it was funny <laughs> and I've been rocking this little mohawk thing like I'll just pull this part up and kind of do like this little mohawk and put some gel in it but it's pretty funny to me but um I have a lot of fun with it I totally enjoy it it's really been nice and I've been getting a lot of mixed reviews. I mean, of course, on YouTube, the natural community is just very supportive. But in real, like, life, I guess, not everyone has liked it. And, like, um, some people have openly said that they didn't like it. And some people are just like, 
whatever like they don't say anything so it's okay with me um i don't really care if they don't like it i like it so um that's about it and i guess i'll see you guys next time i'll probably do a video every once a month or so and update you guys all right keep in touch and keep it real bye